Good evening and thank you so much for joining us tonight. My name is David Norkowitz, the Director of Vocational Technical Programs. This evening you will be viewing the fourth of five events that Shashin Valley is hosting to showcase its vocational technical programs. Tonight's event will focus on the programs within the Arts, Communication and Business Cluster. They include Design and Visual Communications, Graphics Communications, Business Technology and Marketing, Culinary Arts and Hospitality Management. With the cancellation of our community open house due to COVID-19 this year, we decided that hosting live events would be the next best thing in offering you a chance to see our programs. We are recording tonight, so this event will be available on our website so that it can be viewed at a later time. As you view this pre presentation, please feel free to post any questions you may have about any of our programs in the Q&A box. This box can be found in the top right hand corner and you can simply select the question mark icon and then submit your questions within the box. All your questions will be answered at the end of the presentation, but can be submitted anytime during this event. I ask that you keep your questions to a general statement. And as we go on, I would also like to remind you that the application deadline for the class of 2025 is February 1st. You can apply electronically by visiting Shashin Tech's website and selecting the Apply Now link on the admissions page. The information about admissions, including contact information, is also available on the admissions page. But at this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Wendy Siegel Body, the department chair of the cluster of arts, communication and business. Wendy. Good evening and welcome to the arts, communication and business cluster live event. It's my pleasure to introduce you to the programs within this area. There are currently four programs, design, visual communications, graphic communications, business technology marketing, culinary arts, hospitality management. Each program offers an exceptional educational experience for our students. I hope you enjoy the presentation. The first program I'll discuss is design and visual communications. There are four certified instructors that teach in this area. Each instructor brings a world of outside professional experience as designers, illustrators, traditional and media artists, as well as business owners into their classrooms. There are many different career paths for students within the design and visual communications program. Even though we've highlighted two areas, the industry centers around the, st the strategic creative designations of advertising design, computer animation, digital filmmaking, game design, illustration and photography. Both multimedia artists and art directors usually work in both offices and large corporations, especially now with the pandemic. Many of these professionals are working from home or freelance globally. Both usually work a 40 hour work week. Multimedia artists understand search platforms such as Facebook and Twitter. Art directors direct the advertising projects. How to become a professional multimedia artist or art director? Both of these areas require a four year college degree with an arts concentration. The great thing about the DVC program is that we have around a 98% college placement rate. 2% of our students usually enter the military. Our students apply to and gain acceptance to some of the best arts schools in the US and abroad, 122 to be exact, from Mass College of Art and Design to Rhode Island School of Design to Montserrat College of Art. Leslie University, Chicago Institute of Art, to name just a few. You can make a very good living as a professionally trained artist designer. Salaries in an art profession usually start around $40,000 a year and can reach well over $100,000 a year with experience. 
The job outlook is very strong. Multimedia artists that understand how to use the different search platforms will be in great demand. And art directors with an increased understanding of how to integrate traditional advertising into electronic platforms such as Twitter and Instagram will be able to name their own price in terms of salary. Students within DVC are introduced to a wide variety of trade related real world projects that help them develop their conceptual and technical skills. Students leave Shawshin with both a full traditional and digital portfolio. These portfolios are used by the students to gain acceptance into colleges. All students learn on the latest Mac platforms with the full Adobe Creative Suite software. Senior students also have the opportunity to participate in a three credit dual enrollment course at Montserrat College of Art at a fraction of what would they would pay while attending in college, $475 at Trashine versus $2,000 a year if they were at Montserrat. Students of DVC participate in a related theory course that supports what they learn in shop. Students learn how to develop their concepts and turn them into real world applications through their increasing knowledge of business and entrepreneurship. We have many students that graduate from Shashin as small business owners with their business names registered with the state of Massachusetts. Those students in many cases earn money while working freelance all through college. The students of design and visual communications earn both their 10 hour OSHA safety credential and Adobe certification. The DVC co-op placement is excellent. Our employees include all of the above, as well as Tewksbury State Hospital, Plum Choice Software, and SRS Medical Corporation, to name just a few. The DVC students are always engaged. They also work on many community projects. Community projects such as the Stoneham Zoo Lights Christmas Display have given the DVC, DVC students the opportunity to showcase their creative skills while working together with many other programs at Shashi. Our graphic communications program. There are three certified instructors in graphic communications. They bring a world of outside experience from the printing industry into the program. As you can see, there are many different career paths within this program. If you walk down our hallways, you can always see students and faculty wearing articles of clothing that were designed and embroidered by our students. The students in this program also work hands-on to produce great signage. Many examples of their work can be seen throughout our building and out in the community. The work environment is very hands-on and project-based. Pre-press de designers usually work in design studios as part of a production team. They meet with clients and collaborate with other team members on projects. Current production specialists usually work in the production areas of companies. Many of the students that have graduated from Shashin's graphic communications program continue on full time in companies that they have worked while participating in our school's cooperative education program. You can see from the slide that the salary range for these positions are competitive. A pre-press graphic designer can make anywhere from around $30,000 a year to $67,000 a year. A print production specialist can make anywhere from $52,000 a year to $71,000 a year. The job outlook in graphic communications looks good and remains steady. As things keep changing and evolving in every industry, the best positions will be filled by people that keep up with all the industry trends and fully understand new technologies and techniques. The really neat thing about this program is that it is extremely hands-on and students are up and moving all the time. Students get to see their work coming directly off the printing press. They get to hold a garment they just embroidered in their hands. Students get to screen print designs they've created onto t-shirts. It's a true pleasure to walk through this program and see the amazing work these students do. The students work in Mac Libs using full Adobe Create Creative Suite software. From the beginning design through the entire print production, students are completely involved in the process. They learn about customer service, estimating, scheduling, press operations, digital image preparation, and vinyl sign production. The related theory class in graphic communications is a direct complement to what the students learn in the shop. The instruction covers design, pre-press, output, and workflow. 
color function in chemistry, machine and chemical safety, and career exploration. Students in this program also receive the OSHA 10 Iowa safety credential, and they are also Adobe certified. Our graphic communications program has the strongest co-op numbers in the state of Massachusetts. Currently, a large majority of students are already out on co-op this year. We have a long-standing partnership with numerous employers who welcome students of all levels into their companies. When you walk through this program at any time, you can see the students fully engaged in working on many projects. It is truly an exciting shop to be a part of. These students are always working on jobs within the school and also on jobs for the community. The graphic communications program works closely with our business technology marketing program and proudly embroiders and screen prints over 75% of the merchandise sold in the school store. Business technology marketing. There are four certified instructors in our business technology marketing program with extensive business and marketing experience. There are many different career paths within this program. Two of the major career paths are accountants and marketing managers. Students within this program learn extensively about these areas. Other pathways include banking, office manager, business owner, digital marketing specialist, marketing associate, and advertising manager. The work environment for accountants can be in an office setting, but some also work from home. Marketing managers work in corporate offices, advertising and advertising agencies. Either career path offers full-time employment. Both accountants and marketing managers require a four-year bachelor's degree. Marketing managers gain their experience in advertising, marketing, promotions, or sales. The income of an accountant has a low of around $45,000 per year and a high of close to $125,000 per year based on experience. A marketing manager earns anywhere from $71,000 per year to $208,000 per year based on experience. The job outlook is very strong over the next 10 years for these areas. A growing economy and complex tax and regulatory environment will lead to a strong demand for accountants. Marketing managers will continue to be in demand as companies will continue to need campaigns to maintain and expand their market share in a global economy. Students at Shashina offer a diverse scope of course offerings. Instructors offer expert instructional techniques where students explore their curiosity and have the opportunity to reach their full potential. Students leave this program well prepared for an entry level position in the dynamic business field. They are also well prepared to enter into a college or university business program. Students learn many things from business and personal law to social media, sports, and entertainment marketing. Students also learn how to use software. One of the most exciting things about this program is our school store. Students have the opportunity to work in the store to gain an understanding of managing inventory, purchasing, how to run promotions, sales, and customer service. As you can see, the related theory of this program gives the students a very solid foundation. There are many hands-on projects that complement the business operations taught in shop. From analyzing business statements to exploring business law, students are exposed to a variety of business disciplines, including web design. Students within this program have the opportunity to earn their Microsoft Office Specialist Certification. Junior and senior students have already earned 65 Microsoft certifications this year. Six students have been invited to compete nationally in June from Florida in national Microsoft competitions. Students can also obtain their digital marketing and financial literacy certification. All students leave this program with their OSHA 10 hour safety credential. The co-op numbers are very strong for our business technology and marketing programs. Last year, students benefited greatly by gaining real-world experience working in the industry. This year, many students are already employed through co-op and are working at great companies throughout the area. Students are always engaged in this program. It's exciting to learn about marketing a product or creating a business plan. It's even more exciting to understand how accounting works so the business plan a student creates could possibly become a reality. 
culinary arts hospitality management. There are five highly qualified instructors within the culinary arts hospitality management program. These instructors do an amazing job working with the students to produce delicious meals and baked goods for both our staff and the community. The career paths culinary, culinary has chosen to focus on are chefs and head cooks and food service managers. Chefs and head cooks oversee the food preparation at restaurants and places that serve food. Food service managers handle the daily operation of restaurants and places that serve food and beverages. As you can see, there are other career paths as well. Chefs and head cooks work anywhere that food is served, from restaurants to households to any place in between. Food service managers work in restaurants, factories, offices, office buildings, and just about anywhere food is prepared and served. Each of these careers offers full-time employment. The quickest way to become a chef or food service manager is to attend Shawshank Valley Technical High School. Most chefs and head cooks learn the, learn the skills to work experience. Food service managers need at least a high school diploma and several years of work experience in the hospitality industry. Both of these career paths can receive additional training through community colleges, culinary schools, technical or vocational school programs. The national median, median average uh, annual wage for a chef was approximately $52,000 per year. Chefs can make anywhere between approximately $28,000 per year to $87,000 per year. Food service managers can make anywhere between $33,000 per year to a little over $93,000 per year, depending on experience. There is a wonderful outlook for job growth in this industry. As you can see from this slide, more restaurants are expected to reinvent themselves to satisfy customers' desires for dining out and takeout meals, as well as food delivery to their homes or workplace. At Shawshank, the instructors have done an outstanding job redefining how meals reach our community through the pandemic. With our in-house restaurant currently closed, the culinary department offers online ordering to the loyal customers for takeout and contactless curbside pickup. At Shawshank, all students in the culinary arts program learn about the operation of the food service industry. They learn recipes, how to measure, and the costs involved. Students also split their time learning about what happens in the kitchen and bakery. If you ever have the opportunity to visit our Ram's Head restaurant, you will see our students running the restaurant. Students also have the opportunity to work in our Shawshank food truck at various community events. This program gives students a thorough understanding of everything they need to know to become successful in the food service or hospitality industry. The related theory component of this program supports everything the students focus on within the shop. As you can see from the list, our students receive an excellent foundation in this program. All students within this program leave with the following certifications. Allergen Awareness Training Certificate, an SP2 Culinary Food Safety and Workplace Safety Credential, and a Serve Safe Certificate. The students in Culinary are well trained and are sought after from employers. We get calls even during this pandemic almost weekly from businesses that are looking for qualified help in the restaurant, bakery, or assisted living facility. As you can see from the list of co-op employers, our students work at some of the best restaurants and establishments in the community. The culinary students are always engaged, whether it's preparing meals for our staff in the new state-of-the-art cafe or working to serve the community in our Ram's Head dining room. Students that graduate from our culinary program are well prepared to have a successful career in this industry. Wendy, thank you so much for that great detailed presentation, which has provided relevant information for our new incoming students, hopefully. But at this time, I would like to have my administrative assistant, Helen Hayes, present the questions that have been submitted during the event. So myself, Ms. Wendy Siegelbody, or Andy Pigeon could provide some follow-up with the questions. Helen, what do you have? Thank you, Dave. We've got some really good questions. Um, the first one is an admissions question. But before I start, I want to thank everyone for joining us tonight and for asking a question. 
Um, when will students who applied find out if they got accepted or not? Hi, Helen. Um, this is Andy Pigeon. I I'll take that question. Thank you. Uh, great. Our application process is open now for all students in districts in our five communities and towns. It's an exciting opportunity for you because you have wonderful schools that you have a choice to attend, whether it's your hometown high school or whether you take an opportunity to explore and check out what Shawshin can offer for you. Students will be finding out in early April of their acceptance here to Shawshin. And like we say, you should take a shot, leave all of your doors open and apply and see if this could be the next opportunity for you. Thank you, Andy. I have a question and I think it's for Wendy. Wendy would be able to answer this. What is the difference between design and visual communications and graphics? Sure, I definitely can answer that question, Helen. Um, design and visual communications provide students with instruction in fine arts, illustration, animation, photography, graphic, and game design. Students who usually choose this program typically like to draw. The graphic communications program provides instruction in design, pre-pressed embroidery, sign making, and printing. Students that choose this program like to be up and moving and working hands-on to complete production projects. Great, thank you. Um, I have a question about the food truck. Can you tell me more about the Shawshin's food truck? Um, I'll take that question. Um, thank you. The food truck, well, we got the food truck through a grant ooh, about three or four years ago. But what we did with the food truck, what I can tell you is it's right now, it's probably one of the hottest trends in the culinary, in the culinary uh, industry. And it has a considerable growth rate as you can look around at the local uh, scene and see these food trucks everywhere. Why we brought it into the program at Shawshin is we found it's a great introduction for the food industry, especially if students are looking to open their own businesses, they get a real good um, view on how to do that because it reinforces the food safety, the regulations, the teamwork. It also provides an opportunities for these students to create these wonderful new menus that we hopefully will change weekly on the food truck. So there's a lot going on with that. And, and, and as right now, we're doing a lot of municipalities throughout the five communities we serve, and we're having a real lot of fun with it. And that's right now what we're doing with the food truck <laughs> <laughs> thank you dave all righty the next question i have is are there many co-op job opportunities for students in the arts and communications business cluster and how do students get like a position all right, helen i can take that question thank you me. sure there are many co-op opportunities for our programs um employers can contact our Co-op department looking to fill, they usually call to, looking to fill vacancies. The instructors also work closely with the co-op office and use their connections to recruit employers and to support the students in the job um, search process. Students can find employment on their own as well. Um, all the companies and jobs need to be reviewed by our co-op department to make sure they meet our criteria before students are allowed to interview. Once the job is approved and all the required paperwork is processed, the student would be allowed to go out on co-op. Um, students need to meet school's attendance and discipline eligibility criteria and be in good standing both academically and vocationally, but there are many jobs that are available to our kids all the time. Thank you, Wendy. I have another um, admissions question. My child's applied and had his interview. Is there anything else that we need to do? Hi, Helen, I'll take that one. Um, at the if, if your child has applied and had his interview, there is nothing else that you will need to do. It's a really exciting process here at Shawshin. All students get to fill out an application and then participate in an interview uh, with one of our staff members here. It's a great opportunity for you to have a conversation about why you're interested in Shawshin and what Shawshin could do to you. We try to find our students' passions and interests and the interview helps us with this. So once you've done your application and interviewed, Shashim will contact your middle school to request everything that's needed to process your child's application, and we'll be right on board for them to walk through our door in September. Great, thank you, Andy. I have one more question. Uh, why would a student choose Shashim over a traditional high school? I can take that one, Helen, if anyone else doesn't mind. Um, anyways, I think... <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Wendy. 
Sure. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah. Anyways, I think a traditional high school offers some great opportunities to the students, and in some cases, it's the right fit for a kid who really enjoys learning solely in the academic environment. Shashin offers the really unique benefit of an education that is both hands-on and academic in an area a student chooses and is passionate about. Instructors have the added benefit of working really closely with the students in their programs for four years. Um, they know these kids inside and out. Uh, anyways, and it's a relationship that develops and evolves to something that lasts well after the kids graduate. The shop students develop friendships that last a lifetime as well. Students leave Shawshin with both an amazing academic education and hands-on trade-related experience that allows them the opportunity to either begin their careers or also in many cases pursue a college education. Great answer. Um, I don't have any more questions at this time. Well, I guess we'll, 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 we'll sum it up then. And, and at this you. point, I'd like to thank everybody for joining the event tonight. And I look forward to having everybody back next Thursday, January 21st, when we host our fifth and final vocational technical virtual event. We saved the last for best, as some would say, where we're going to introduce our transportation pro uh, product development cluster, which will include auto collision repair, automotive technology, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration, as long as, as well as metal fabrication and joining. Those shops will be shown next Thursday, January 21st. Hope to see everybody there. So good night and God bless, and we'll see you next week. Bye now.